Uh, uh, one man that knows a lot about lists and list sizes and who's going in and, <laughs> and out is Stephen Silvani, of course, fullback of the century, legend of the Carlton Football Club uh, up until last year, was the list manager. Fair to say that things didn't end that amicably at the club and uh, 12 months later in his first public interview, it's fair to say he didn't miss. Looking back at the press release, it just put the boys under the bus. I thought it was amateur. Really lacked any respect. If he yeah. actually used the words he used to me when he decided not to go on with me, I would have been fine with that. But he didn't have the courage or conviction. He felt as though I would sabotage the trade and draft period. That probably hurt me the most. And really, for me, an outsider that's come into the club and really doesn't know a lot about the club and really doesn't know a lot about me... That was probably the most disappointing out of everything that happened. That's Stephen Silvani there on SEN Breakfast this morning. Uh, the he that he was talking about was Kane Little, who is the CEO. This is the press release that he was talking about. Having the most senior list management staff member unable to participate in an increasing number of decisions and decisions relating to both list management and the match committee, it's not the best situations and not the best interest of the Carlton Football Club, essentially saying that having two sons on the list was a conflict of interest. Caro, you've heard... A lot of explosive interviews in your time. What did you make of that one? Oh, well, he's, he's dropped a bomb on the joint. Anyone who knows Stephen Silvani knows this has been coming for 12 months. His anger has been simmering at the surface behind the scenes for that year. He's chosen a paid interview and a new deal. He's got to do trade radio with SEN to finally air those grievances and have a real crack at Kane Little. Bit of a crack at Mark LeDuce, who of course apparently told Stephen Silvani about the sabotage, the draft comments. He's had a crack at Chris Judd. He's, um, I think, he's about to come out next week and talk about the the Brandon Ellis wooing and that that happened behind his back as well. Carlton will tell you, and at the time we were told Sam that he had a big part to play in that press release. Now, I don't know who to believe with that. I mean, I know you think it was an amateur press release, but I think Stephen had a big go of that. It reminds me, Ed, of the Kevin Rudd sacking. No one really understood why Kevin Rudd was sacked, but the, the Labor Party at the time didn't want to say how much was going wrong behind the scenes. So to protect the party, they ended up hurting themselves. And I feel there's some similarities here with Stephen I think the Solani. most disappointing thing is that we haven't heard from Carlton today. Oh, they would be crazy uh, I, I, to hit back. I, I... I think no. I think it's uh, the opposite. I think it's Carlton's played it uh, well this time. It, look, it, th these things. If you know they're coming, sometimes you you're relieved when they finally come out. And uh, Steve needed to get it off his chest. He's done that. Carlton have not responded. That's probably the best play. If he talks about whatever happens next week, well, that's just part of uh, uh, a, a story. It's, it's part two of a story. SEN will try their best to uh, milk it as much as they can. Hutchie on a Monday night can tell you how he set that up. That's what media is all about. It's show business. He's doing the show. They'll do the business. Carlton will be best suited. Yeah, but this is a legend. Yeah. This is a legend, Ross, of the Carlton yeah. Football yeah. Club. I'm the son of a legend. A close, a close friend of yours. How did you feel when you? He's a close friend of mine. I'll put that on the feel, table. How did you feel? How did you feel when you heard him say that this morning? Today, well, I was informed later. That, look, there's always two truths. So whatever happens at Carlton, there's the Liddell side of things, and the Silvani side of things. So. If, you're not going to be able to convince the other who's right and who's Should wrong. Should he have done it? Should he have done what? I think it's better than in the season. I think, you know what, it's aired. He said his piece. And they can't respond or they don't. I think if they respond, they'll fuel it and get going. Set his piece. Put it on the table. And whatever we say here tonight, that's what Stephen believes. And that's what he feels he experienced. So from mine as a friend, a Hall of Famer, the son of a Hall of Famer, two sons there, to well, feel one one that now. the CEO that he'd spent five years rebuilding would feel that he would sabotage... That's the hurt. Not that he got sacked. That, that mm. doesn't Except worry him. Except the CEO him. never said that. The chairman well, someone's... told him the CEO said that. Well, it, it, you know what? Mark LeDuce does not come out of this well. The well the I don't know who said it, but situation. if that was said, I think he's got a right to be upset. Where does this Get rid Jack? of me, but don't question my... Carlton Football Club's family for him. And you know with your associates in Richmond, to stay, uh, to stay level. Yep, and, yep. So, and then what's counterintuitive, and then on the back of his sacking, the, the PR out of Carlton is, well, we're a young list and we're ready to play finals. So he would then feel worse. So, he's, he's been but a I'm not here to defend club. him. I agree. Karen, do you think Jack will be there next year? I think Jack will be there because I'm not sure there's a huge amount of interest elsewhere, but I think it would be... Absolutely political suicide for Carlton to do anything about Jack, but I think what Stephen has done has made life pretty difficult for Jack, more than Carlton did for Jack when they put out that press release.
No I, doubt. Mm. No doubt. But I, <laughs> there's no doubt the Carlton Football It's upsetting, club, isn't it? Yeah, it is upsetting. I, I find it very difficult after being a cunt. They're a great... Some, but they will have experienced things that Stephen has done that's upset them. There, there's no doubt about that. I don't think I'm denying that. But it's just... It's not a good situation. There's no winners, Sam. I reckon there's no, no winners for yeah. Carlton or for the Silver. I would agree with that.